This puzzle isn't particularly difficult, but I like how it flows and it was fun solving it. And there are a couple of places where it gets a little bit difficult and those difficult spots are good for teaching techniques. So I thought I would uh, do a video on this, uh, on this puzzle. If you like these videos, please click like and click the red subscribe button below. After you subscribe, you can also click on the bell icon if you'd like to, to be notified every time a video is published. And I also wanted to mention that I like getting comments, so if you have any questions or you want to share your thoughts, please leave a comment. This is puzzle number 97 from Sudoku to Go, volume 133. The first thing is, if we look at this column right here, there's only four numbers in it, and you might think, oh, that might be kind of hard to solve. But there is a six and a nine in box four, and there are only two cells that are outside of box four that are empty. So those are six and nine. So that's a six and that's a nine. Now we have 1, 3, and 8 left. There's an 8 there, an 8 there, so that's an 8. And we can solve the 1 and the 3 also because of that 1 there. We've also got a, a loner cell right here. It's a th 3 because of that 3 right there. <clears throat> that leaves 1, 5, and 7 down here. And with that 1, 5, and 7, we have ghost 1s. and We've got a 1 here, so we know that's a 1 right there. All right, now let's look at box 2 because there's something interesting here. There's a 3 and a 9 here and a 3 and a 9 here. So these are 3, 9 twins. <clears throat> and we've got a 7 and a 7 in box 1 and 3, so one of these is a 7. We've also got a 5 and a 5, so one of these is a 5. And since these are 3, 9 twins, we can fill in the 5 and 7. 7 there, 5 there. All right, now we know these two numbers, 3 and 9, so we know these three numbers, 1, 3, 4, 8, 1, 4, and 8. So we know that is a 6 right there. We also have an 8 here and an 8 here, so these, these are three 9 twins, so they can't be an 8, so that 8 has to go right there. All right, so because of these three nine twins, we're able to fill in everything but the one four that are left and the three, three nine twins themselves. All right, now also with this, um, with three nine twins here, we've got a nine here, ghost nines there. And so that is a nine right there because of that nine. All right, now we've got uh, six here, six here, six here. So that's a six right there. That leaves four and eight there. And uh, so we got four and eight there. So there's a, that's a four, that's an eight. Right, and with that eight, we got an eight there, so we know that's an eight right there. Now we all just have three nines left here, three nine twins, three nine twins this way, and three nine twins that way. Let's 
Let's see here. All right, now we have 5 and 7 missing here and 2 and 4 missing here. So we have 5 7 twins and 2 4 twins. All right, well, we've got a 2 here already and a 2 here, so we know one of these is a 2. So we have a 2 here, ghost 2's here, so one of these is a 2. So we have 2 4 twins here, and one of these has to be a 2. So we know that uh, because of unique rectangles, that neither one of these can be a 4. Um, because we have 2 4 twins here and a 2 here or here. So neither of these can be a 4 because of that, or else we'd have this unique rectangle situation there. Now let's see what we're missing in this column here. We're missing 1, 2, 4, 6. We're missing 1, 2, 4, and 6. We've got a 6, a 1 and a 6 here, so that's a 2 or a 4. It can't be a 4 because of what I mentioned a minute ago, so that's a 2 right there. All right, now we're missing 1, 4, and 6 in this column here. Um, this has to be a 1 or a 4. This can't be a 4, so it has to be a 1 or a 6, and we've got a 1 right there, so we know that's a 6. You see how the unique rectangles helped us find these two numbers. We also know this is a 1 or a 4, and this is a 1 or a 4 now, so we have 1, 4 twins this way. And with this 2 here, we can solve the 2, 4 twins that we have in box 4. And another thing uh, we can see is we have a, a 4 and a 5 here and a 4 and a 5 here. So we have 4, 5 twins right there. We just filled in that 4, so we know that's a 5. And that's a 4. And with that 4 and that 4, we know that's a 4 right there. All right, let's see. Now we're missing 3 and 7 in row 5 right here. Let's see if we can do anything with that. That's got to be a 3 or a 7. There's a 3 there, so... We can solve those two numbers. Now we have a one or a one and five here. And so with that one and five, we can solve the five seven twins we have there because that's a five, that's a seven because of the ghost fives we have here. All right, um, let's see what we got here. Um, remember the 1, 4 twins we have here and here. So because of uh, these 1, 4 twins, these 1, 4 twins, again with unique rectangles, we know that this can't be a 1 or a 4. It has to be some other number. So we know the 4 has to be either here or here in this row because we have a 4 here, a 4 here. And so um, a 4, uh, a couple different ways to look at it. One is we got a 4 here, 4 here, 4 there. So one of these has to be a 4. And that can't be a 4 because of the unique rectangles. So we know that's a 4 right there. And that makes that a 1 and that a 4 right there. All right, let's look at, uh, we're missing four, five, six, seven, seven and nine there. We can solve those. All right. 
Now we're missing one, two, six, two, six, and nine right here. A six there, so that's a two or a nine. This is a two or a six. And there's a two and a nine, so that's a six right there. So now we're missing two and nine, so that's a two and that's a nine. And we're only missing two and six right here, so we can fill in the six right there. Now we're only missing two and three here. We've got a two there, so that has to be a three and that has to be a two. And with that we can fill in the three nine twins that we had there. Right. Um, now we're missing uh, three, seven, three and seven here that we can solve because of that three. Missing one and two here that we can't solve yet. And now we have a two and a six here and a two and a six here. So we have two six twins right there. So we can solve them because of that six. All right, and now with um, with the two and six there, we have a corner pattern right here. We have a five right there, so we know the five has to go here or here. So that has to be a one, and that's a five right there. That makes that a one right there. All right, now we're only missing three, seven, three and seven here, and we can solve those. All right, with that two, we can solve the one and two right here. And with, and we have a one and a five there. With that one, we can solve those. And then we have a 5 and a 7 missing there, which we can complete, and that's it. Well, as I said earlier, I liked how this puzzle flowed. It was kind of fun, uh, finding twins, finding uh, different things, and uh, um, solving it in kind of a different way than... Uh, uh, than just going looking through sections and doing the typical things that you do. So uh, it was fun to do. I hope you enjoyed watching me solve it. Um, I hope you enjoy these vi videos, and I'll see you soon on the next video.